Welcome to another edition of Timoteo TV. This is your week two edition. I'm Mikey Money Morrell. I'm here with Christopher Jesse Lar, Alex Mondonado, and Promarty Martinez. Okay. So before we start off, Alex got some announcements to make. All right, fellas. April 17th, next Monday. Whatever happens in the locker room stays in the locker room. You know what I mean? So we need y'all there. That's that cowboy stuff. <laughs> Vocational, um, vocational. Vocacio. Uh, oh, vocational. I'm sorry. It's on 4455 North Sixth Street. So see y'all there. Second, we got Players Huddle. Um, April 25th, Esperanza High School. Listen. Yeah, both things you can sign up for at the app. And so the locker room. If you want to get a job this summer, you need to go through the locker room. So I just uh, sign up this oh, week. Oh, what happens yeah. in the locker room stays in the locker room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right. Don't get that. Don't get that. You get that information when you get there. All right. All right, so we're going to start off with the first game this week. We got our first 12 o'clock game is the Panthers versus the Eagles. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good to have the Eagles back. Just like there's a cowboy curse, they think they can change their colors and somehow the curse is going to be gone. I think there's the Eagle blessing. This team literally got together five minutes before the game. I mean, literally putting the pieces together. And here they end up winning, what, 25 to 6 or something like that. Unbelievable win. That Right now they have the most tackles in the league, most sacks in the league, the most interceptions in the league. I mean, watch out for the Eagles. I mean, they're coming in, coming strong. Hopefully they're not as boring as the old Eagles that never used the cheers or anything like that. Um, the Panthers, I think uh, they, they came out flat. I mean, they were, they were flat this, this week. I don't know what, what's going on. They had like four or five guys who weren't there that needed to be there. Uh, this week they're making some adjustments. Uh, I want you guys to be aware of two players, Demir and Tracy. They're rookies, and I think by the end of this season, everybody's going to know who Demir and Tracy is. Tracy, I think, is the new fastest player in Timoteo. Faster than anybody we've had. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna see what we'll, we'll, we'll test that out later in the season. I had the Panthers winning this one, 19 to six. 19 to six. Well, um, rocking them Eagles green. I see mm. sharp. Eagles green. Shout out to my man Dave, quarterback. You know, um, he, he went over there from the Cowboys. So you know, we produce good talent, and he got he came out with a win there. Um, Panthers. They did look like they were in slow motion. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe they practice like that, but I mean, get your practice up and then uh, come ready to play on Saturday. But I got the Eagles actually uh, winning Ooh. 20 to 18. I got a question. You guys heard of this Richard Santana? He's on the Eagles. This dude had three receptions, a touchdown, two PAT, seven tackles, and four sacks. Four sacks. Leading the league in sacks. I don't know who this cat is, but I'm telling you what, watch out for this Richard Santana too. This, the Eagles might be the real deal. Is he? Um, Are they real deal or was it a Texan factor? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I mean, anytime two new teams play, usually it's the, the donut bowl, but uh, yeah, yeah. we had it early in the season. Uh, so, you know, the Eagles is feeling good about themselves after that first win. Um, the uh, the Panthers, uh, we, kind of looking at the game, they kind of struggled on offense. Seems like yeah. they're still trying to figure out yeah. – you know, what's going on over there. I don't know if they've solidified a quarterback position yet. I think they're making some changes to kind of improve this week. Um, them two rookie players definitely stood out to me mm -hmm. uh, and definitely look like they could be factors in the game. Uh, defensively, um, they were pretty solid. I think Devine, is he's the one uh, over there running the defense over mm -hmm. there. They, they were okay. I mean, I saw Johnny. Johnny did really well grabbing flags. He doesn't miss anything. Uh, and then uh, you had Devon, who also had uh, five tackles as well. Uh, Devon. Brown. Brown. We just call him Brown. Brown. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, he looked pretty good. Good too. Eagles, Eagles on the other hand, um, I don't know. They're, they're real confident kind of going into this mm -hmm. game. Uh, but when you look at the tape, you know, they scored two defensive touchdowns. You know, mm -hmm. without them two defensive touchdowns, it's a one-score game. Uh, and and I don't know if they have what it takes uh, mm -hmm. to really be a factor They might get a rookie league. humbling um, this okay. year, this week. I'm not saying this game is very <laughs> important for them, but if this game doesn't go well against the Panthers – it could mean the the turmoil of the team, kind of, because it doesn't get any easier than this. The Panthers mm -hmm. are, are right now; they're not in stride. They're kind of struggling. Uh, Dave mm -hmm. Dave did impress me. He did play well, uh, but it's all about development. Can the kid grow? Uh, can he get better? Um, definitely, the one thing that impressed me a lot about the Eagles was uh, the leadership between uh, Jihad and Xavier. 
Mm -hmm. uh, they really came out there and started running kind of things over mm -hmm. there. Uh, and um, the, the, I, guess, I don't know who's coaching the team over there, but uh, definitely looked like, you know, he knows mm -hmm. how to put pieces kind of together. Mm -hmm. I heard uh, he's a good coach. I heard he's good looking, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, so Gondo, uh, the kid you were talking about, Richard, yeah, he definitely came up and mm -hmm. played. He's a hustler. He's got mm -hmm. a motor. I think as the years go on, people will definitely get to know his name. Uh, but in this game, you know, I don't, I'm not going to give no rookie team no respect uh, in this thing. I got the Panthers winning. They're bouncing back. And I think this is going to be a humbling experience for the Eagles. I think the Panthers win 30 to 6. Yeah. 30 to 6. All right. So let's go into the second 12 o'clock game where we got the Falcons and the Seahawks. Yeah. Unfortunately, week one blues, I didn't dare see much of any of the games because all these people wait until the last minute to get their uh, paperwork in. If you don't have your paperwork in by Friday this week, you're not playing at all because I'm not accepting crap on Saturday. Sorry, you can stay home. Anyway. Hey, he the, said, uh, you can say that? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, the, the Falcons, I'm excited about the Falcons in terms of I like their coaching Josh. staff. Mm -hmm. I like I like these guys. I think Josh, Renee, Sadiq working together uh, are going to put together some good pieces um, it will be interesting to see if they're like the Jets of last year where they just come out hot win one or two games and then die off um, but I feel like their move over to Bethel Temple is key I feel like they're getting ready to really build a franchise and that's really what we need we need 12 franchises not just eight franchises and four teams that happen to play and revolve every year um, Seahawks all the pressure in the world's on the Seahawks this is their year, right? I mean, next year they're going to be in rebuild mode because everybody and their mom over there is 18 years old and they're all going to be out. <laughs> and uh, their mom. And, and their moms. And, uh, and, and I just, I think there's, I, put, I think there's so much pressure. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. I think it's really them and the Colts that are head and head. And I can't wait to see them week five or week six to see them face off. But as of right now, I think the Seahawks are going to win this on 27-13. Wow. Um... I don't see Seahawks and Colts. I think the Pac-9 got something to say about that. But uh, the Falcons, I don't well, see about Well, they already lost to the Seahawks, so you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. That, they'll be good. They'll you be know, the third. Uh, like, third. like last year, the Colts turned it on in the playoffs. You know, they, they took mm -hmm. us out. Um, so I want to speak about the Falcons at first. I just think that uh, the coaches got to let that speed go, man. I, I feel like they hold their, their speed back. Um, they should create, you know, opportunities for, for their running back there to play more wide out position because that, that speed, you know, speed kills. Yeah, you def they definitely got to use Yasir a little bit yes. better. Yeah, they definitely do. Yeah. They, they hold that guy back. And um, I just I just think that the, the coaching staff this year, they look better mm -hmm. in, in week one. Mm -hmm. um, the Seahawks, I want to speak about a kid named Mikey, man. Um, Sat out first half disciplinary reasons, you know, Ooh. but he can, he can learn I from Cam I thought he had to do the SAT or something like that. He can learn like from that. Cam Newton. You know, Cam Newton sat out uh, one year and then went to the Super Bowl. And Any idea and what he did? I don't know what he did, but uh, yeah. he should he should have that same Cam Newton year, you know, try to take his team there to the uh, Urban Bowl. And I got the Seahawks, man. I got the Seahawks. I got the Seahawks 30-6. to six. I was surprised how good Amir did that first half at quarterback. I, I was think too. there could be a controversy I mean, on the Seahawks at QB. You know what? He has – a better arm than that kid. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That's that the velocity. Yeah, vision. Vision the velocity too. is like he you definitely know, looks yeah. more coachable as well. Yeah, yeah I definitely seen him taking a lot of yeah, uh, direction yeah, so. kind of from yeah. the coaches. Um, um but uh, <laughs> Seahawks as well. Um, I just think that on that side, uh, it's my Jesse. Jesse. No, you already said your score. All right, go. So what? So what? Go. Seahawks. I think. They're super athletic on defense, and I think they just uh, stay in the same defense, and they should get a little more creative. And I, I think when when they get more creative on defense, they'll they'll finally win a playoff game. Man. No, I, I, it, it could be it could be the year for sure. But j just so you know, uh, the more you talk, the less I can talk. Okay. Uh, the uh, no, I'm joking. Right. The uh, the Seahawks, I, they're kind of sleepwalking. I think uh, they're already going into the season just expecting, I think, to go and make that run for the championship. Uh, and and I think they're losing focus of uh, some of the small stuff, you know, that it takes to kind of get their discipline uh, and things like that. Um, and I think they need to to bring it down a notch. Uh, and really kind of focus in. Uh, and, and I think if they can do that, uh, they have the talent. You know what I mean? Even without the coaching staff being the greatest over there, they have the talent to make a run. Mm. Uh, but, you know, the, the captains and stuff like that have to step up mm -hmm. and really kind of have that leadership on the field. Um, the, uh, the Falcons, on the other hand, I'm trying to think, how can this game be competitive, right? Mm. The Falcons, they caught eight catches all game. Mm. That's what was recorded. Mm. Eight yes. catches, four from Yasir, mm. I think three from Jose, and then one other kid had a catch. Uh, I don't 
that is not going to do it. No. You know, Josh is going to have to open up the playbook uh, book a little bit and see how he can kind of take advantage of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is, but this gives them an opportunity for their coaching staff and their players to really set a precedent for themselves for the, for this week. If they can come out here and make a statement and mm-hmm. beat the Seahawks, people will start to take them serious. Mm-hmm. But as of right now, I kind of see them as a middle-of-the-pack team. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, I mean, I don't know if the coaches are going to take the proper steps to – to really uh, improve that team over there. So um, you think Falcons need to show at least one different look? Yeah, I mean, week? yeah, they, they got they got to open it up some yeah, over they there. Show yeah, a different look. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when you're when you, you know you talk about they must be running the ball a lot if, mm-hmm. uh, if they're completing only seven passes. And, and it's a smart guy, man, and um, he's very talented. He does mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. Uh, I still don't know quarterback is his thing, mm-hmm. uh, but maybe uh, after this uh, this blowout, I got the Seahawks uh, forty. To, uh, to to 12 maybe in this game. Mm. I think maybe you could do a little documentary on how they survived this uh, <laughs> this, this is kind of whooping that they got. All right, let's go into our first 130 game. We got the boys versus the Chargers. Yeah, the boys. All right, so they're calling themselves the boys. They're, like, wearing these, I don't know what kind of outfits. They're <laughs> ugly. Uh, <laughs> but they... But somehow they're trying to, to get, you know, reverse the curse. I, I don't know. Reverse the curse. They're not going to be any good this year. But the thing is, you got to look past the wins and losses, right? What they're doing is, is, is people don't realize this. They're doing something really smart. If you saw the Redskins of old, they used to be called the Redskins. The Redskins were butt the first year, right? But what they were doing is they were laying a foundation. First, first couple years. First couple years yeah. for a – I mean, to win multiple Urban Bowls. That's what's happening here. They said, you know what? It's time to rebuild. It's time to set a good foundation so that we can be better a couple years from now. And I think that's really where the direction they're going. And I think that they're setting some things in place. And I think a couple years from now, we're, they're going to be right back on top, uh, winning the whole thing. Uh, the Chargers, on the other hand, I mean, it's Vikings in yellow outfits. It's the same thing. They always have these freakish <laughs> athletes yeah. that end up showing up and can't win a game. Um, now, these guys, right, the quarterback, I like this quarterback, but the dude's throwing it deep every single yeah. time. Cam- the dude's Cameron, Cameron yeah. has a rifle. Cameron has a rifle. To stop going deep yeah. every freaking time and start chopping the tree little by little by little. Start taking it down the field. And I'm telling you, this dude can, can – I think this team can win some – games they got a supportive church they're even talking about bringing cheerleaders to the field this week i'm just saying everybody's gonna be watching cheer, the, the, the chargers now but uh but yeah i have i have the boys winning this one this week though 29 or 25 19 i had a question why are you not coaching the chargers you can you get off some good strategy there well i could help them. if they had, call me up i will help any team that calls me i will help Offers chargers it. call them up anybody any team i'll give you a little little pointers there you go um <laughs> I agree with uh, Chris. It is our, our rebuild year. Um, we are setting a foundation. So this year is on us, buddy. Uh, are we good coaches or are we not? We'll find out. We'll um, definitely find out. You guys definitely used to get – you guys got an A in recruiting. Definitely. Uh, this year that department seemed like it, it changed. Yeah, yeah we, we, we got a slight, you know, a D plus. But we'll, we'll rock with it. Um, this week uh, we know that the Chargers go deep every play. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll back up and then we'll be ready. Um, I got us winning. I got us winning a tight one. Uh, I got us winning 21-14. 21-14, yeah. Uh, yeah well, the Cowboys are definitely rebuilding. Uh, I know this is a, a hard transition for the coaches, uh, mm-hmm. but on the bright spot, what I did see, I seen the boy Carlos. Carlos was balling a little bit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So so now, the, usually, you know, with all the athletes that the Cowboys had, Carlos probably wouldn't be playing a lot. Now he's getting in there. He's getting in there with Noah and some of these other guys who uh, – to, to see, you know, kind of build that kind of chemistry. Uh, so I think the quarterback needs to humble himself a little bit too. Mm-hmm. I believe he has the talent to be a good quarterback in this league. Okay. He's, the kid's got an arm. He's got to learn how to listen, mm-hmm. uh, and he's got to learn how to be disciplined. Now, he's got to be coachable. Mm-hmm. If, if he can't be coachable, it's not going to work out uh, in the quarterback in this league. Listen to your coaches. I'm telling you, Leo has a ton of uh, experience in this league, uh, but come in and be humble. The Chargers, like you guys said, Cam got a rocket. Mm-hmm. He got his big target in Talib, five catches yeah. this last week. Kasim played well, uh, and so did Kwamir. Uh, so in this game, I'm hoping the Chargers, you know, they, they, they lost a close one to the Bengals, probably one that they wish they would have came out to win, yeah. probably should have won. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is going to be a game like, you know, we're starting to try to map out this poor four, and one of these teams that go 0-2, 
their chances of making a poor mm -hmm. four go up dramatically. Yep. So for both of these teams that they're, they're planning on making the playoffs, this is, I don't want to say a must win, but this is a game that you want to have. You want to go one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. not on two. Uh, but in this game, I think the Chargers are just more talented. I'm going with the Chargers winning this game 20-12. to 12. All right. Well, that'll do it for the first half of our week two predictions. Tune in for our next one. Tune in for our <laughs> next one. <laughs>